So what do I think about hybrid log gamma? You know, a lot of people have been asking me about this. Hey, Mr. Forky Upscaler, what are your thoughts about the uh, HLG hybrid log gamma? I have a demo here uh, from hybrid log gamma. The thing is, the way the hybrid log gamma is working, it's, uh, it gives these lines. Now, these lines, you can't see them. These flickering lines, they're only available through your camera lens. You can't see them uh, with your own uh, eyes. Well, hybrid log gamma, it's really clear and detailed. Now, I'm adjusting the peak brightness here of hybrid log gamma, and it really looks great. Uh, the peak brightness here of this hybrid log gamma, I put it at 3, but I did notice that if I put it to 3, that, that the white bright levels go a little bit overblown. So let's keep it at 0, but this looks beautiful. This just simply looks amazing. I don't know, man. I, uh, hybrid log gamma is pretty impressive on uh, Samsung Q, uh, Q8FN. Uh, yes, you, uh, Q8FN supports hybrid log gamma and HDR+. Plus. But uh, I don't know. This is my first time testing out hybrid log gamma, and uh, I like what I'm seeing. It, it's very, uh, it's very detailed. Uh, is it better than Dolby Vision? Um, I don't know. Like I said, uh, to me, they, they both look very bright. Uh, both Hybrid Log Gamma and Dolby Vision are in competition. Uh, they all can, they're all dynamic metadata. They can all achieve the, the highest possible bits of color and they can all achieve uh, the highest possible uh, peak brightness if your TV allows that peak brightness, but uh, it looks pretty darn good. All right, this is yet another uh, hybrid log gamma video that I was able to find, and uh, I like what I'm seeing so far. I mean, this is really bright. I got to tell you, man, uh, hybrid log gamma, it's, it's impressing me right now. I like what I'm seeing, you know. But that's also because this TV is very bright. You know, it's, it's a 1600 nits. So this hybrid log gamma definitely helps. But I would keep the uh, hybrid log gamma levels at zero. I wouldn't mess around too much uh, with the hybrid log gamma levels. But um, this is in Tokyo. And it's a hybrid log gamma HDR format. Uh, from what I understand, HDR plus should be coming out pretty soon uh, via 20th Century Fox and OPPO UDB203 will support uh, HDR Plus when it comes out and I think that uh, OPPO UDP203 should support Hybrid Log Gamma as well when it becomes available through firmware update. Let's try another video. Very bright. Uh, I have to admit, man, my camera is having a tough time depicting the brightness and detail here. I mean, this is very bright. Uh, Hyper Log Gamma, man. Uh, I don't know. I think Dolby Vision should watch out. I like what I'm seeing here with Hyper Log Gamma. The first impressions are pretty darn good. And I like what I'm seeing here. This is super bright, dude. This is uh, very impressive. I have to say, you know, I'm, I'm getting impressed by uh, Hyper Log Gamma. I, my first impressions that should uh, indicate that I'm very impressed with Hyper Log Gamma, and I like what I'm seeing with Hyper Log Gamma. This is very bright detail, man. Way brighter than what, what I see on Dolby Vision right now. And uh, I don't know, man. I, look, I need to do some more research and some more videos on hyper log gamma and check the hyper I need to check hyper log gamma versus Dol uh, versus Dolby Vision and I need to check hyper log gamma versus um, HDR plus HDR 10 plus you know this is the main thing I want to I want to do this spring I want to put HLG versus HDR 10 plus well there you have it guys just a quick little video hopefully um this gives you some idea on my first impressions of Hyper Log Gamma, and they're pretty darn good. Very impressed.